Hey everyone, Nathan Galloway with part two of our mini series called Unlocking WebXCC with T-Tech Digital. A quick reminder for who I am, I'm the chief architect of T-Tech Digital's Cisco practice. We've got two top topics to cover today, and I'll be the first to tell you that these could easily come later on because they'll make more sense in why we're simplifying uh, the, these pieces uh, and what we're able to do. Uh, but if you watch the introduction, you, you remember uh, that I talked about changing where we spend the majority of our time. So I did all this. I modernized what it is that I thought I should be you know, dealing with whenever it came to my contact center cloud offering. You know, I got myself out of the plumbing and suddenly I was spending all this time uh, inside the agent desktop and really um, ramping up you know, what it is I needed to do there. But then I found problems and I found the difficulties like it, it was you know, and the two pieces we're going to cover today is that I was writing these capabilities and the, uh, I call it gadget development, but I wasn't having fun doing it and it was painful and the examples I was given um, weren't really helpful with the way that I do everything else from a development standpoint, um, specifically front end applications. And so I wanted to change that. That's going to be the second part of this. The first part was just so extremely simple in that I wanted to improve the way that we sign in um, to the agent desktop. And I have an eye on this. We'll talk about this in later sections that, you know, I think that you know, it's one thing to sign in with a, a Cisco hard phone or soft phone today, but what if we move to WebRTC? What if we're in a mobile agent architecture or using any third-party PBX? That becomes even more complex. So how can we simplify that on the agent? We're going to talk about those two things uh, as we move forward here. Okay, so let's get started with our uh, Chrome extension that's going to assist in our sign-in process. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is head out to the Chrome Web Store. And within the search box, I can go get this extension by typing in Cisco Finesse. And this is recently posted, so we're all the way at the bottom right now. I'm starting to get some likes down here, it looks like. But um, let's go ahead and add this to Chrome. So now with um, the extension added to Chrome, what we're going to do is actually click into this. And we're going to see it's got a little web page behind this. And I'm going to do, if you're an existing sus customer like most of y'all are doing today, um, which is store my Jabber extension and click save. Okay, so with that saved, let's head out to our agent desktop. And you're going to see something pretty quickly here in that I did nothing. It signed me right in. Okay, that's kind of the, the uh, first advantage here. Um, you know, Browser cache is clear, you know, things change. Um, but why is the agent having to remember their extension all the time? Let them set it up once, get it, get it inside this. Don't even let them have to, you know, click multiple buttons. They authenticate through SSO. That's enough. Sign them into the desktop. Now we'll get to the why my desktop looks like this. We're going to build on this. Um, but part two, you're going to understand this a little bit further. Let's go ahead and sign out. I mentioned as in the, the intro to this that I have an eye towards uh, better things. And if you've ever experienced the, the mobile agent sign on, which I believe to be kind of the future architecture, all of the modern contact centers today actually leverage mobile agent. <laughs> they just don't call it mobile agent. So don't be fooled. Um, mobile agent is a, a real thing. And what all that, all that that is, and you might have, um, I think that a lot of customers have become, um, you know, a little bit horrified of mobile agent because of the way that the sign-in works. So we're going to change that. And that's kind of a bigger driver for this. What if I made this a little bit more usable for the agent? So here now I click browser, you know, something logical. Maybe I want to sign in with my cell phone. Um, so, you know, a third party PPX could be Microsoft Teams, could be anything. We'll get into how we're going to change this architecture, but understand that, you know, Number one was, okay, we can make this easier on the agent using the system the way they are today. But if we change this, I think it becomes e even more important in that, you know, you give the agent a nice, easy, clean sheet and they don't have to deal with 
um, what that looks like. So if I save those changes now, I click my sign in button, you're going to see that it's going to do this for me. And I'm right back to where I was now signed in with my WebRTC cell phone, my cell device, my Microsoft Teams device, my WebEx calling device. It doesn't matter, right? Um, it, you've simplified that entire process. So that's um, part one of this, the uh, Agent Helper, and that's available on the Chrome Store. Uh, also, I'll note that you are free to come out, and we'll post these links uh, to, to <coughs> all of this uh, within uh, the comment section. So um, you can find the source code for this if you're, if you're an enterprise and you want to deploy this extension on your own. Uh, it's very, very simple from a code base perspective. Um, you can find out how to leverage this. Uh, you can do whatever you want with it. We want this to, and both parts of this today, to just help build a more powerful uh, Cisco community. We'll get to the T-Tech digital value adds at a later point. Today is about just getting to a better base uh, for offering. So you can see here, downloading from the Chrome Web Store, um, you can see what you would need to do if you wanted to build this yourself, maybe you wanna customize it, but the, the thing is, just improve uh, the sign-in experience, make it simple for your users, uh, and uh, you know, again, if you get into uh, the mobile agent architecture, you can really uh, gain advantages from this um, versus have it be um, some tedious overhead because you went down down this path uh, that Nathan put you on uh, in later sections of this. Okay, so part two of this is going to be our gadget development. <sighs> Man, uh, I, this is hard for me to say, but I've been, been given examples by Cisco and I've reviewed all their code for years and I was like, why does this never look like anything that I ever do? Why is this so hard? Um, it's JavaScript, I'm not saying it's overly hard, but to do something um, big or changing, I just couldn't get to where I wanted to get to, and nobody showed me a better way to do it. So um, today I wanna give you a path to doing it a better way. One of the knocks about Cisco, and I'm actually gonna come out here to this uh, separate GitHub. Um, let's actually go back to the main page. I'm going to show you this. Why did these templates exist section? So Finesse has developed a reputation for being old and inflexible. I think that what people miss in that is that Finesse is a container. If I wanted to strip this thing down and turn it into a single page application, I absolutely could. You can do anything you want with that. Meanwhile, you're getting all the data and all the, the events fed to you. So the, the concept is wrong, but I don't know that you've necessarily realized that there is a way to do it the way that you want. Um, again, um, my hope today is that maybe these templates are going to change will change your mind um, and if you're like me and you've shifted where you focus your time and now suddenly you're like oh man i don't have to worry about the plumbing i get to create all these different cool things within within the agent side um, you might find that this helps it become less tedious. And, uh, and my comment there is, and dare we say fun again. Um, that's what we're hoping for here. So um, the key, let me show you what the gadgets actually look like. We're using Vite um, as the compiler. Uh, Vite, if you're not familiar, is an extremely fast and modern compiler. Uh, it's how we build our, our, let's call it, our, our web projects. Um, and you can see reactivity right in here. So there are other things that you'll find inside the template, which makes it you know, really easy to understand how these operate with Finesse, but we're showing on this page a vanilla, a React, and a Vue. Now, there are other frameworks that exist out there, um, but these are three uh, uh, of the most common uh, ways of writing JavaScript today. So you've got really the same example for all three of these, and you can take this and start building your own gadgets. We do, do or at least I do, uh, really all of my gadgets within Vue. So um, let me click in on the Vue one, and you kind of see the same screenshot here that you were just seeing live. Um, and this talks you through how it works, um, what's involved, maybe some other things that you want to consider. Again, I find that frequently I'm leveraging Axios, and then to make things pretty, you know, I'll leverage some hero icons and tailwind along the way. Um, makes for really fast, but you know, beautiful and powerful uh, development when you put all these things together. Um, this talks you through the important files. 
you've got the ability to use this as a starter kit. You can also just kind of install it and see what it does um, right out of the box. Again, we'll provide the links uh, to this GitHub um, in the comment section and uh, hope that this can uh, help with your experience. So recapping what we've seen today, we've seen the agent sign-in helper, which hopefully will get your agents uh, into Finesse. And if you're you know, leveraging mobile agent, uh, simplify that piece. Um, meanwhile, if you're kind of on a hard phone, really what that's doing is just taking away the click of the sign-in button or the remembrance of what their extension is. That can be helpful as well, um, but I think it'll really come into play as we start leveraging our mobile agent architecture, uh, WebRTC, um, really cutting the UC out of the fold um, for what are the responsibilities of our contact center cloud. Um, lastly, we went through the gadgets. You can build extremely powerful. You can do what you want with finesse. Don't let it be a um, detriment. Make it into what you want to do, and you can do all of this just by picking up these starter templates and um, you know revamping. Put it into the way that you develop code today. You know, store your projects in 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 GitHub or whatever you're using. Uh, you know, promote code. You know, do all those things the exact same way you would do with any other piece of front end script. Um, and again, using uh, the starter templates we've provided, uh, we think you'll be well on your way to do that. Thank you for watching part two of our unlocking WebXCC series.